For me, comedians divide into two types. People who are really confident, but who are no good. And people who are insecure, neurotic freaks, but whose material is excellent. They're the ones who are so sure of themselves. There's just some people who think they're really good and they're not. But a lot of, most, the defining characteristic of most comedians, I think, is a real insecurity that drives you to go. You know, like, your new piece of material is just as bad as your first gig. So, you know, the butterflies in the stomach and all that type of stuff. I think, for me, anyway. I think it's, it's an element of how you just think about it. Like, things would happen to me. And I think on like the third time that you've told this story to your friends, you start hitting the, I mean anyone, just anyone, you start hitting the, the funny bits, you start to weed out the material that doesn't work. Everyone does, it's a natural kind of a reaction. And I find that a lot of real life things like I feed into my material and maybe I work a bit harder on them now, you know. But I think that that's a natural sort of function of human language is go for that reward, that little laugh. Everyone does in their conversation. And I think a lot of my materials just come out of stories that I was already telling in coffee shops or bars as part of my personal repertoire, so to speak. Do you think of your comedy world as completely separate from your work and your family world? Would you feel comfortable if anyone from your workplace or your family were at your gigs and hearing what the stories you're telling? Oh yeah, like I have some material about my mum. Like I, I sort of invite everyone I know, don't I? I just think I'm not bad at it, you know? I probably shouldn't say this in an interview, but I, I haven't, I'm not being great at anything else I've done, you know? Like I'm not really that great of a clerical worker. Uh, you know, I wasn't really good when I worked in the bookshop for like nine years. I worked in the fruit market packing apples. I wasn't really great at that. But I seem to be all right at this. Um, people seem to laugh, people seem to like it, you know? And uh, I feel rewarded because I like doing it, you know? And like everyone knows what it's like to do something for 40 hours a week that you don't really care that much about. So yeah, I like that and I'd like anyone to see me doing it. As a result, I'd like everyone to know to come see me, be good at something for a change. You know, anyone I work with wants to come, come. Any family, come. Everyone you know, tell them to come. Come to the pavilion.